Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. So again, I've got another charity shop haul for you. Um, I've just got a spare five minutes, so I thought I'd just come on, show you what I've got. Um, I'm glad people enjoyed my last video. I've got so much more that I need to sort out, so I will be filming that for you. Um, so I'm going to try and alternate my videos between clearing my closet to try and get some more organisation and showing you the finds that I have purchased. So I'm just going to get on with the video. Okay, so this first item is a little jacket. It's just a lightweight jacket. It is by the brand Allegri Milano. It is waterproof. It's all this technology stuff. And I believe that it folds into this little pouch that's in the jacket. So I'm going to have a play around with it and see if I can get it back into this little pouch because if I can then I think this will be ideal to take on holiday just in case it's chilly at some points because I don't think I'm going in particularly the hottest weather but yeah it's warm enough for me. Okay this is the jacket it's just a plain jacket Mm, oh, it has pockets, it does have pockets, and then it's got a belt. If I want to belt it, I mean, not that the buckle goes small enough, but I don't know, I could tie it, but I probably won't. I'll just wear it like that. But hopefully, I can get it in the pocket. So I managed to get it in its little bag. So I'm definitely going to take this traveling with me. Um, well impressed. And then on the lines of a holiday, I've just got this little straw bag. I forgot to say the coat was a pound and this bag was a pound as well. But I thought this was perfect for holiday because it's black and it's straw. Um, but yeah, really sweet. It's only from Astor's originally. And then I picked up this pair of vintage, they look vintage to me, shorts. Premier collection, they were 50p. Um, I think they're cotton, but the label's been cut out. Oh no, it's just that faded look, <laughs> they're definitely vintage. So, there's those. Here are the little uh, vintage shorts, so they are quite long um but i would roll them up a little bit obviously i do a slightly better job but i just prefer that length on me a bit better but really comfy and ideal for the summer. I just need to give them a bit of an iron. Um, but yeah, really comfy. Might even copy a pattern of these shorts for when I make some shorts. And then I picked up this silk shirt. Um, I have a vast collection of shirts, so I'll be going through my shirts in one of my videos. But silk shirts 
uh, oh, I just love the silk shirt. So this is a vintage silk shirt. Okay, this is the little vintage shirt. So you've got two hot. Don't want to catch the sun anymore. Just pop this on as a little uh, cover up. Equally, you could wear it with a bikini underneath. Um, I just hopped on my shorts. I'm bothered with footwear. Um, but I just love a shirt. I've got this dress. If I can find the top, it is vintage again. See that label? It's really vintage. It is a long black dress. So. I need to tighten the buttons up a little and it's just a super long maxi black evening type dress so you'll see it better in the try on and that was a pound okay i'm in love with this dress it's beautiful um it's perfect length it is floor length but I can still walk. I hope you can see full length. Um, yeah, love it. Picked up BHS size 10, just a little black floral dress. Buttons up the front, and that was. Mm, it will, be, will have been a pound because I think we all know that I don't pay more than a pound for anything. Okay, this is a little dress. So this actually buttons up to there, but I've just not done the two buttons. I've just tucked it in because I prefer that shape. I like that it ties at the waist and that it can show a little bit of leg. I've just put it on with some nude sandals, but you could dress this down as well with some trainers and a little denim jacket. But I love this dress because we all know I love a dress. Well, rarely anyway. Let me have another dress, but this is just a little slip dress. It's originally from Monsoon, a size 10. Um, I've got one, a very similar colour to this, so when I have a clear out, I'll decide which one I like better. Okay, this is a little a slip dress. I've given it a bit of a steam, but it needs a bit more, obviously. Just notice the hem is a bit asymmetrical. Um, but I like the fit. No, I haven't got brown. And I probably won't put one on. Um, because I just like slip dresses for comfort. Um I could maybe put a t-shirt underneath or over the top, tie it up if I want to one sec. So pop on a little t-shirt so that it's a little skirt. I just need to tie it at the back a little bit more. And then pop on some trainers, dress it down. Um, but like I say, I've got another slip dress like this. So I would have to see if, uh, which one I prefer. But they're both different, but the similar colours. Um, but yeah, there's that one. So I picked up this Frank Lyman dress. Just doing the zip up. Um, sort of a Medaxi dress. And this again was a pound from the Sue Ryder charity shop. Okay. Here is the dress. 
popped it on some heels. Definitely an evening dress. Um, yeah, I love this. I might take this on holiday. We will see. Um, but yeah, just a nice, just, just a nice dress. It is a little bit big around here. I could put dart in if I really wanted. But I just think comfort sometimes is, yeah, it's good. And guess what? Here's another dress. Never heard of this brand before. It's just a little buttons up the front. It's got a little side zip. Um, it is 3% rayon and polyester, but it feels really nice. Just a nice classic shape. And this dress has pockets. I mean, winning over already. And I love what this does to my silhouette because I'm straight up and down. But this is actually giving me a nice waist. I've just popped it on with some tan wedges. But I think this is more of an autumnal colour. Let's get my words out. Um, so I would probably wear it with some boots. Um, for autumn, but yep. just love the shape of this dress. I picked up this um, dress, so it is a real vintage granny dress with its own little belt. Um, so I love a vintage dress and I'm going to show you in the try on what I will do with it, how I will wear it, but it's a typical um, polyester granny type dress. Okay, so the proper little granny dress, I'm sorry, but it is. Um, this is just how the dress is but this is not how I would wear it. If you give me a second, I will just do something and then I'll be back. Okay, so now I feel far more comfortable. So I've unbuttoned the buttons at the top, folded them in for a deeper V. I could put it a bit lower if I wanted and put some tape on, but just popped on a little belt because we all know I like a belt. To cinch me in but it just makes the shape better and I've just popped on some little Primark Estadrill um, but now this is definitely me on a kind of cottagecore type day and I feel really comfy in it Um probably put on some more jewellery maybe a little bag with it I don't know but now I don't feel like it's as old fashioned as it was. So I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye.